Okay, so here we have our cam part and the machining of both the outside contour and center pocket are defined. Really, the last thing we need to do in order to complete the programming is define the machining of the pocket ledge. Now, just like we've done previously, we'll first define an eye rough operation to perform the roughing, and then from there, we'll define the finishing with an eye finish operation. For the fourth step, We'll begin by adding an eye machining operation to perform the roughing of the pocket ledge. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click Operations, Add Milling Operation, and select 2D Eye Machining. The default eye rough is again used for technology to perform the initial machining of the pocket ledge. To start the geometry definition, click the New button. For the operation, the geometry is defined as a semi open pocket. Now defining a pocket with open edges is pretty easy. First, pick on the lower contour of the pocket ledge in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, like so. You have to close the chain using Auto Constant Z, and by then clicking Yes to accept the chain selection. Then in the Chain List section, right-click Chain 1 and choose Mark Open Edges. When the Mark Open Edges dialog box appears, pick on the outside edge of the pocket ledge. Eye machining is now informed that it can use this open edge for entry. Go ahead and click OK to accept. Then, click OK again to confirm the geometry selection and to exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Next, we have to again choose our tool. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button. For this operation, we'll use the same 9mm end mill that we've been using. So, choose tool number 1 from the Part Tool table and then click the Select button to exit the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. Now we have to pick the milling levels for this operation. And to do that, first move down to the Levels page, click the Upper Level button, and pick on the top face of the stock model. This is again the Z level where the machining will start. Click OK to accept the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button to define at what Z level to stop the machining. Now for this operation, we need to pick on the bottom face of the pocket ledge. Again, click OK to accept the selection. For this operation, we're going to use the default cutting conditions generated by the technology wizard based on a machining level aggressiveness of 3. Just as we did in our previous operations, we'll simply use the default technological parameters. On the technology page, we'll keep the wall island offset at 0.24 millimeters. And just like our outside contour operations, the settings on the link page do not apply to the geometry in this particular operation. Now at this point, the operation definition is finished. Go ahead and name the operation iRough Pocket Ledge. Click Save and Calculate to add this operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Let's then simulate the toolpath. So click the Simulate button to open the Simulation Control Panel. Using the HostCAD mode, click the Play button to view the wireframe toolpath. We should see the tool approach the pocket from the open edge and then perform the roughing toolpath, first removing material from the middle of the ledge and finally clearing its corners. Now that we know everything looks good, let's exit the Simulation Control Panel. So now what's next? Well. To complete the part programming, we only have one more operation to define, and that's the finishing of the pocket ledge. So just like we've done previously, click the Save and Copy button to create a copy of our current eye machining operation. The geometry, the tool, and levels definitions will transfer over to the copied operation. The only thing we need to do is change the technology type to I Finish by simply selecting it from the drop-down list. On the Technology Wizard page, we'll also use the default cutting conditions that were generated based on a machining level aggressiveness of 3. Switching to the Technology page and flipping through the Technology and iREST data tabs, let's also verify one more time that the wall island offset is now at 0, and the data needed for calculating rust material is automatically used by the iMachining technology for this iFinish operation. Finally, we can name this operation iFinish Pocket Ledge.
click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. When the Simulation Control Panel opens, click the Play button to run the simulation. After the corners are cleaned up, the walls of the pocket ledge are finished with a single pass. So that just about does it. We can now close the Simulation Control Panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box with the exit buttons. Now that concludes step four, where we've just defined the rough and finished machining of the pocket ledge, as well as completed the part programming using SolidCam's iMachining technology. So it's quite simple to use, as you can see. We only had to define the geometry, tool, and the levels for three operations. And from those three operations, the finishing was defined. iMachining did the rest automatically by generating the cutting conditions and defining the technological parameters that were optimal for each of the operations. Now, I'd like you to see one more step where I'll show you more of SolidCam's toolpath simulation options. And we'll also take a look at the iMachining G-code before we send it out to the machine.